Hi, friends. This is Pastor Brian Paulson of the First Presbyterian Church of Libertyville with your weekly word. You'll find all the information you need in your parish life that is emailed to you every Friday. I hope you're taking advantage of that, including there are some Zoom links that will help you participate at 11 o'clock in our 30 Good Minutes that follows the premiere of our worship. Worship, as always, is at 10 o'clock in the morning with our worship premiere. I look forward to seeing you as we continue our journey through the Lord's Prayer. Today I want to invite you to pray for our session because uh, we are reflecting well upon how God is calling us to be together as the church through these challenging times. I thank you for all the prayer and support that you have offered for us along the way. Uh, right now we're thinking about Jesus' commands to us and the way in which uh, Jesus instructed his disciples to bring peace to every home where they go, that same peace that we offer to you every week, and also to remind them that the kingdom of God has come among you. Well, there's an interesting challenge, isn't it? How do we do that? Historically, Christians have tended to prefer either the Great Commission, go make disciples of all people, evangelism is the key, or to be a great commandment Christian. Love God, love your neighbor. Of course, the gospel requires all of that. It's all commanded by our Savior. And then, of course, in this version from Luke that I named, Jesus sent out his disciples two by two, sending them to travel light and focus on the gift of God's new world, the kingdom of God. Now, it's interesting in uh, the Gospel of Matthew, where there's an emphasis on the kingdom of God, that the ability to enter the kingdom of God in one instance depends upon our ability to become like a child. Isn't that interesting? That we need to receive children well, and we need to have a kind of teachable spirit of a child. In addition to that, uh, we can think about the Gospel of John, where Jesus instructs us that uh, all who believe in his name should not perish but have eternal life. And then there's another way to enter the kingdom of God, to see and to do. That is to say, to see uh, the least of these among us. And to do unto them as if we are sharing with Jesus himself. This last part is from the 25th chapter of Matthew, and the Presbyterian Church USA has laid out a challenge for congregations to consider becoming a Matthew 25 congregation. It has three points of emphasis, congregational vitality, addressing structural racism, and aiming to overcome systemic roots of poverty. Things like this are now being considered by our session. How can we go about making sure we're doing the core work Jesus wants us to do in these challenging times, and at the same time um, to be responsive to the challenges of the world around us? You know we have our anti-racism and equity task force at work. We're going to be hearing a report thinking about how we grow. I hope you're signing up for the Be the Bridge groups that are commencing soon. Good conversation about how we can deal with some of the great challenges of our time. Boy, there's a lot going on, and I'm grateful for our leaders. They give their time and their prayer and their hearts. I hope you'll pray for them in this uh, session retreat. And I hope you'll reflect upon Jesus' own char charge and challenge to go forth and share good news. How are we doing that these days? To show God's love, how are we doing that? And to be a presence of God's light and love for the world. Well, small things, but we do it day by day. Give us this day our daily bread, Jesus prayed. Let's join together in prayer. We ask, O oh God, that you strengthen us. Give us daily bread. Give us the ability to discern your leading moment by moment day by day. Help us always to carry the love of Christ in our hearts and to offer it for others. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings, friends.